Hi, I'm Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of today's discussion. I regret I can't be there with you now to talk about this important issue, but on June 19th this year, the House took a big step towards shutting the back door on unwarranted government surveillance. By a massive bipartisan margin, 293 to 123, the House agreed to an amendment that prohibits the government from searching Americans' communication and data without a warrant and from requiring that device manufacturers or service providers create backdoors in their products or services for surveillance purposes. As many of you know, and as you are discussing today, when an individual or organization builds a backdoor to assist with electronic surveillance into their product or service, they place the data security of every person and business at risk. It's simple. If a backdoor is created for law enforcement purposes, it's only a matter of time before a hacker exploits it. In fact, we've already seen it happen on more than one occasion. For example, in May of 2014, it was reported that a major security flaw was found in software used by law enforcement to intercept communications that allowed a hacker to listen into any call recorded by the system. Fortunately, the amendment passed by the House was a worthwhile step forward and will make a meaningful difference. But our work is not done. This amendment in June was the first time that Congress had the opportunity to debate and vote on the distinct issue of the Fourth Amendment and the NSA. We need to continue pushing to protect private information and data security. And we need the Senate to follow suit. Because when the House of Representatives had the opportunity, finally, to vote on it, the result was overwhelming. The House stood up for the American people and for the Constitution. That is something we can all celebrate. We sent a strong signal that if the government wants to collect information on U.S. citizens, get a warrant. Thank you for your hard work on this important issue, and I look forward to working together with each of you to keep pushing for a safer, more secure Internet.